What's up, Wildcat Nation? I'm Will Davis, and I'll be your host for the show this week. We have an action-packed episode for y'all. We've got special effects with Lindy, Man on the Street with Delaney, Shoe Review, Wildcat Nation, and Wrong Answers Only. And now, on to sports with Lucas. Hey guys, I'm Lucas, and I'll be your host for this week's sports. Leading us off as football, they absolutely demolished the Union County Panthers 64-14 last week. Congratulations to Chris Thompson for getting Lineman of the Week and Gunnar Stockton for getting Blitz Football Player of the Week. Unfortunately, no football this Friday, guys. Yesterday, our JV Esports team had a match against Bradwell Institute, and the varsity team had a match against Druid Hills High School. And finally, to our interview with Coach Adcock. All right. Is there any differences between games and practices this year with basketball? Uh, practices, we're running about the same. Um, girls go to the primary school one week, and while we're at the high school, and then we go back and forth. Um, other than that, not so much. Games, um, GHSA backed us up three weeks. So our first game's not until December 1st. We'll be playing at Stevens County. Um, other than that, I mean, seating's different. We're going 50% capacity this year, which means we'll have um, 100 spectators guest spectators can get in while 500 home spectators can get in and we're going to have 50 free tickets in the front office for um, students because of, unfortunately because of COVID this year students got to pay to get in. This is a huge dream for any child I know for y'all starting young she knew what she wanted to do it was way off in the distance. She told me yesterday that she didn't think she could accomplish it, but she really wanted to try. She's worked her tail off since young, and now the day has come. She met her goals. She's checked every box off and uh, committing to Columbus State. So without further ado, Lauren, if you are ready to commit to Columbus State University for girls soccer, Congratulations, Lauren. Um, what is your favorite thing to eat for Thanksgiving? Hmm, my mama makes the best like homemade mac and cheese, and she just makes whole trays of them. And I'm just hoping she makes a double so I can kind of like sneak it in the book bag. Mac and cheese. Think about it. the mashed potatoes for sure. Turkey. 
because I'm very picky when I eat. All right, is it stuffing or dressing? Oh, I don't know because I don't like it at all. It's definitely stuffing. That's a tough one. I say stuffing for sure. Stuffing. Okay, and then do you prefer cranberry sauce canned or homemade? I gotta be honest, the canned cranberry sauce because people go too bougie when they make the homemade cranberry sauce. So just give me what I need from a can. It even has lines where I can cut and has a perfect circle and that's that, yeah. Homemade. Homemade. I hate the canned stuff. Ooh. I don't like cranberry. Did you know 231 years ago today, New Jersey was the first state to ratify the Bill of Rights? Um, the shoe we're going to be reviewing today is the South Beach 270. Um, the colorway of this one is, it has like a hot pink and black and a light blue. Um, one of my favorite things or details about the shoe is how the black fades into pink at the bubble. This shoe comes in around about 1.30. Hopefully it's a little bit better, Mr. Pitts. This is for you, by the way. Man, I just really wish I had some plants to buy for Christmas this year. Hey, you, do you have any plants that I can buy for Christmas this year? Of course, Raven County FFA planted poinsettias for the holidays. Really, show me. I will. Wow, what a great stock of poinsettias. You know what, mister? I'll take your whole stock. What's up everyone? I'm here with Nick Bradley of Raven County FFA and he's here today to talk to us about FFA's plant sale. Nick, what kind of plants are y'all selling? We're selling poinsettias. They come in many varieties. They got the red and then down there we have the brighter yellow ones and then the pinkish ones and then the light green ones. So they come in many varieties and they're also very symbolic. In our culture today, they are seen as a symbol of success. They're really hard to grow too. We have to factor in phototropism, which is their sensitivity to light. Even if there was a truck just outside that greenhouse shining their light inside, the plant's growth would be stunted. So it's really hard to maintain it. And how much do these plants cost? We're estimated they're gonna be about $5 right now. Okay, and when's the sale end? Late December, I think. All right, so uh, come on down to Ribbon County High School and support the FFA and Boston Point Setters for Christmas. They look great. Hey, wow, cats. I hope your Thanksgiving is filled with food family and food fall. Mr. Franco, yes. wrong answers only. What bird do we eat for Thanksgiving? Pig. Oh. Hey you, kid, wrong answers only. What holiday is coming up? Um, Easter. It's okay, kid, kid. Who made friends with the pilgrims? Uh, chicken. Oh, chicken. Fun. Wrong answers only. When was the first Thanksgiving celebrated? When was the first Thanksgiving celebrated? Uh, I think 2001. Thank you. Okay. Ms. Vandenberg, wrong answers only. Why do we celebrate Thanksgiving? The Clone Wars. <laughs> wrong answers only. What is Thanksgiving about? Uh, reindeer. Opening up Christmas presents. Um, running with goats. Uh, I don't know. You don't know? Oh. Uh, chasing. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what is your favorite thing to eat at Thanksgiving dinner? Wrong answers only. Salami. Wrong answers only. What do you enjoy by seeing your family on Thanksgiving? Uh, cooking. Oh. Wrong answers only. Where was the first Thanksgiving? In a pumpkin, very small, kind of tight space. Oh. Uncomfortable. Really? Yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> hey, Coach Fowler. Uh, wrong answers only. Which two people groups were part of the first Thanksgiving? Nick D'Angelo, Dylan Speed. Thank you. Bye now. <laughs>
I'm Will Davis, and I'm a senior this year. Uh, I'm in financial literacy, business class. Uh, <laughs> this is actually my, uh, my second year in a, <laughs> in a business class, but I've been in FBLA for four years. Uh, Future Business Leaders of America, it kind of teach, um, it's a club for if you're interested in the business world. Uh, all the cool stuff we get to do, uh, we've gone on a bunch of cool trips. Uh, we've gone to Atlanta for to the Chick-fil-A headquarters, which was super cool. Uh, we've gone to different conferences and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, it's affected um, us a lot, especially. Um, you know, we're always we're such a big group, and we're always like kind of close together in such a small classroom, so we can't have meetings and it's, we can't go on trips anymore, which sucks. You know, because that was a big part of um, how I got involvement and what we did as a club was we had a bunch of trips that we'd go on, and that always got everyone super involved. Um, me personally, it's taught me how to be a a better communicator, just kind of talk with people more and a better leader. Because this year I'm a senior and I'm the president, so I've kind of had to take control and kind of, this is uncharted territory. Nobody really knows how to do it without all the stuff that we've had going on, so I kind of have to figure something else out to get involvement. Yeah, it's a, it's a great class. It's taught me a lot uh, in these four years of high school. And uh, Miss Watts is a great teacher. She's very understanding and she knows what she's doing and she knows how to uh, really connect with students and get them where they need to be and teach them what they need to know. And that's all we have for y'all this week. I hope y'all have a happy Thanksgiving and I'm Will Davis and remember to keep it classy Wildcat Nation. Love to eat turkey. <laughs> Love to eat turkey. <laughs> Love to eat turkey, cause it's good. Love to eat the turkey like a good boy should. Cause it's turkey to eat, so good. <laughs> a turkey for me, turkey for you. Let's eat turkey in a big brown shoe. Love to eat the turkey at the table. I once saw a movie with Betty Grable. Eat that turkey all night long. 50 million Elvis fans can't be wrong. Turkey, turkey, D, turkey, turkey, dap. I eat the turkey and I take a nap. <laughs>